This is our parallel circuit lab uh, demonstration. We have to have the same thing that we did with the series circuit. Um, obviously, we've changed it to be a parallel circuit. Once again, the yellow ones are um, voltmeters and the green ones are amp meters. Notice again that we have it drawn this time. Also notice we have um, resistors and we have a, multi, a, a variable resistor. I don't remember which way is, I think that's down. And then this is just a bar that I, I just had a ruler that was made out of metal and so that's going to be our junction here as the current from the battery goes into the circuit, splits through the three, comes together here, goes through a ammeter for the total current and then comes back here. Now, it turns out that an ammeter has enough resistance that it will change what's going on up here with a voltage. So we're bypassing these to begin with. Oh, and some of these uh, mag leads, unfortunately, have some issues in them. So we'll see if, if, if we can't get this working very immediately, we'll turn off the, the video and come back until we've got that. But let's see what we've got. We, okay, we've, re we've set this up now to where we're bypassing the, the ammeters because there's a break here. So we've put wires in. Now, just if you make something like this, these mag leads, they hold on, but we found out that these things, after a while, they, res they, they just lose their, their, con um, their conductivity inside. So what I would do to, for your class, set this up first, then just pop them out. So anyway, notice we have three different branches with the exact same voltage. Why is that? Well, this is the voltage, the positive voltage from the battery. We're going to call this zero. And everywhere up here is the same wire. Batteries add voltage, resistors subtract, but wires don't change voltage at all. Very, very little. So notice as I up the, the, the power, or up, up the voltage, they all go up. And again, they're off by, you know, a hundredth of, a, of an amp or something. And then that's probably, again, problems with the, the mag lead. I bring it down, and they all go down. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these, I'm going to turn these off, because the ammeters will actually affect them, because there seems to be a significant enough resistance in the ammeters. I'm just going to pop that out. Okay. Again, the mag, lights, mag leads, when they work, are beautiful. When they don't work, oh well. All right, so put these all on 200 milliamps, and we have that one there. Now notice we have roughly 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Pretty close. That one and this one makes uh, 70 plus 30 is 100. This is Kirchhoff's junction rule, where what goes in must come out. It's a conservation of mass or charge issue. Um, let's change our voltage. We've increased the voltage, so each one will have more current flowing through it. 90, 110, around 150, 155. Boom. There it is again. The total current will equal the sum of all of these. Now, I didn't label these resistors and it ended up being a good, good teaching moment. Notice the one with the smallest current must be the biggest resistor. The one with the biggest current must be the smallest resistor. And it turns out, <coughs> excuse me, that that one is roughly twice this one and that is half of, sorry, this is times two, this is times two. Turns out this is 75 ohms no, sorry, 75 ohms, 150 ohms, 330 ohms. That's why that one is more than double this one. Once again, 75, uh, 150, yeah, 75, 150, and 330. Now here we also have a variable resistor. Watch what happens here as I increase the resistance. That current goes down, this one doesn't change much. It changes just a little because it affects the amount of battery power. That's something called terminal voltage, which we don't want to deal with here. But again, I increase the resistance, this one goes down, and the other ones don't change much because they're independent.